Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst and today's happy, hope you're ready for a little bit of happy today, is we're going to actually make a trio of arrangements. They're going to be great for, for your dining room table for Thanksgiving. And then at the end, I'm also going to make one large arrangement showing how, how versatile they are. You know, a lot of times your table's so long, you, you need to, have to kind of spread it out. So that's why we're going to do a trio first. And what we're going to start out with are some tea leaves to cover the inside. Use a little bit of green pit to fill in. We have some viburnum berry. So pretty. And then we have some dahlias, or dahlias, depending on where you're from. Pecan pecan, right? Some flame calla lilies. Some really cute little pumpkins that are made out of sisal. If you're actually like straw, and they've made those up. I'm going to use those as a little filler on the side of it. And then some enchantment or day lilies. Some rose hemp. And then a little bit of millet. So let's get started. So what we'll do first is we'll go ahead and cover our inside of our, plate, our square real quick. So how is the happy family today? The happy family's good. We have friends, family members from all over. Ms. Awesome. Donna said hi all. We have friends from Montana, Illinois, New York, Alabama, Delaware. Miss Linda's in Florida on vacation. Well, good for her. North Carolina, more North Carolina, Poland. Awesome. Georgia. Perfect. Louisiana. All over the place today. Oh, great. So I fill the inside of the square cubes with our leaf, which we do that quite often. It's kind of twofold. It gives you visual volume in the bottom of the vase, but it also, a lot of times, some of us aren't Johnny on the spot about always changing the water and the water you get kind of murky. This way you put the leaf in there, it doesn't show A, your mechanics or your cross stems, but it also doesn't show how bad your water's getting. So kind of to cover up the mistakes more or less, right? That's right. We have family members from Indiana, from Tennessee, Louisiana. Ms. Joanne said she'll see us on Monday. She's going to be here in the morning. Oh, cool. Is that Ms. Joanne that just made the caramels? Yes, and yes, she's bringing I'm some to us. Them to be brought some. Thank uh, you very she much. She is. She Salt told caramels. me she was. And she's also, you know, she's the one with the dough bowl that we did. Oh, so. great. Every time I walk by, I see it. Awesome. Miss Ann said you're early today. She's glad that she checked. Well, we're a little, well, we're kind of on time for what we normally would do. But we do. said that we were going to start doing that for We months. are probably starting, <laughs> what do we have Friday? Oh, we know what we're doing Friday. So we should be able to be back on Friday, right? Unless something goes helter skelter downtown. Friday, oh. I don't even know where we're going Friday. <laughs> My mind's on this training thing right now. We're going to start cash. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. We'll be back on Friday. Jeez, maybe we should do it on location. Yeah, we could do that. That would be something fun because surely downtown we, it will work. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, gosh. Why not? Let's try that. Let's try it. sounds like a winner. I know it's your favorite thing to do oh, at all Exactly. <laughs> Miss Helen asked if darling Mr. Chris could wish her a 71st birthday. Happy 71st birthday. That's so awesome. And what was her name? Miss Helen. Miss Helen. Happy birthday, Miss Helen. Miss Pat is watching from South Carolina, San Antonio, Michigan, oh, Georgia. Great. I'm going to go ahead and cut these. California. Perfect. Alabama. Yeah, Miss Joanne said they are made. Oh, Georgia, Florida. So, so digging it. Miss Sandy said, hey, you two happy faces. <laughs> Isn't it funny how the days that we, the days that we don't quite have a tight, tight schedule, like we're supposed to be here, are the days we get the least amount of stuff done. I know, it really is. <laughs> like I just spun all day. <laughs> So anyway, well, we've got like things gone back we've got college. things done, but we just right. but it's not as structured as we normally are. So normally we're on a pretty tight leash as far as time goes. Especially believe the or, next three weeks. Yeah, believe it or not. So now I'm going to do some flame calla lilies, then I'll put our dahlias in there. You know, what I think I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut these up. Oh, they're on wind stems, so we can just pop these right off. 
I'm going to use these at the base. I'm going to angle those in like that. And I'm going to zigzag them because you want your arrangement to kind of flow on both sides down the table, right? That's right. That's right. We have family members from Phoenix, Oregon, Massachusetts, New York, Illinois, Pennsylvania, awesome. Texas, Florida. Oh. And then I'm going to go back on the other side and reverse it. I'm going to put, wherever I put a pumpkin on this side, I'm going to put a lotus pot over here on this, on the other side. We have lots of people telling Miss Helen, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Now I'm going to start with calla lilies. And I'm going to kind of keep these together. I think callas are always prettier when they're in, done in blocking, when they're blocked together. Miss Linda just got on from Florida. She said hello. Hello. BJ's watching from South Carolina. From the UK. We have lots of people watching. Idaho. Oh, awesome. So I'm going to put our last three. I've used one whole bunch in these. They're a bunch of ten in there. Iowa, South Car or I mean St. Louis, oh, fine. Texas. I love those cow lilies. I know you sell them a lot on weddings. So I, I know. Try to find them. <laughs> <laughs> then they're an issue. <laughs> it's just like you know the one that looks like flame. Well, that's called a flame cow. Yeah. So anyway. Um. So is this for something special? It's gonna be on the website. It's gonna be on the website for people's Thanksgiving tables next week. That's right. Chris is a wizard with his knife. I'd cut my finger off. Me too. <laughs> as, you, as you have. As I have, yeah. I have a band-aid on right now, everyone. <laughs> Sorry. Miss Susan said she caught us live. It makes her so happy. Oh, good. You know the thing about cut, using a knife, it's just practice. I mean, who hasn't when they've started out not cut their hand, cut their finger? It's just about confidence. Like anything else that you do, even flower arranging. The more confident you are, the faster you become, and the less, the more at ease you are with it, right? That's right. That's right. We have people from Alabama, Tennessee. Awesome. South Carolina, more Tennessee. I bet we have quite a few people from Arkansas watching too. They just never say That's too right. Much. They just never say anything. They never say anything. A few streets over. <laughs> so Miss Joanne so, said that is a beautiful uh, wreath behind uh, you. Someone still needs to buy that. It's actually sold. It's sold. And we We've just sold have a not, few. We, we just haven't got it shipped yet. Miss Sylvia from Marietta, California is watching. You know what? I had friends that lived in Marietta. Oh, cool. Actually, some of them still do. Awesome. Small world. Small world. Miss Marianne said, hello, happy, happy. We have a few people saying they love the colors. Oh, good. As always, people love your voice or your laugh. It's so <laughs> contagious. <laughs> so now we're going to take these vicious little rose hemp's. Oh, they are boogers today, let me tell you. We got bad thorns, but that's okay. The beauty of it makes it worth the time. Until I get a good one, then I'm going to probably be seeing a different story on that one, aren't I? See, Miss Leslie just said, a Little Rock local that loves to watch every house. Oh, I know. And Ann Peters, I'm sure, is on there somewhere. She is, of course. <laughs> Miss Brenda said, how about Stuttgart, Arkansas? Well, hey, yes. shout out to Stuttgart. Oh, then Miss Lisa said, I'm from McCroy. Hey, hometown. I always said cornbread fed. That's right. Oh goodness, Miss Catherine uh, said they, that it snowed where she is last night, and it's negative three today. <sighs> no, Wowzer! It's a beautiful day. What is it here? And I have on a coat. Well, because I'm always cold. You're but. always cold. Anyway, it's it's probably, probably sixty. It's supposed to get to sixty five today, but yeah. it was like so fun this morning. We got up and it was a frost, and we're having a hard a hard freeze in certain parts of the state. It's great. It's my favorite time of the year. Are those rose and hemp? These are rose hemp. And definitely the leaves are falling. I'm always the neighbor that doesn't rake their leaves until the bitter end because I don't want to do it and have to redo it. So I'm sure my neighbors on where I live are going like, I wish he would rake his leaves. 
Oh, Miss Virginia said you are early today. I almost missed you. But I'm here. Miss uh, Ann said, I'm here. We knew you were here. <laughs> so Miss Judy said, did you hear Paul Guest call you out? No, I did not. I did not either. What did Paul Guest say about me? So. Miss Yolanda said she loves those little cranberries. They are kind of cute. They're actually by Burnham. They're not a. They're actually. Oh, this one. Yeah. This is rose the hemp. rose hemp. Rose hemp. Mr. Robin Texarkana said, "You are so amazing." Oh, you're too kind. It's 34 in New York today. Oh my goodness. Miss Cecilia said she would love to watch the video of you making that wreath behind you. What was on? We did that. Monday. Monday. So you can go Monday. back on our Facebook and you can watch it. Just go back to tiffinhurst.com, go to our videos. They're all posted on there and you can just rewatch it and see all that all went down, right? That's right. Miss Tammy is watching from Cersei. 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 She Cersei. said um, this is her favorite time of day is watching yeah. us, the dream team. Oh, that's so Miss Yolanda said it's a nice day in San Diego. The sun's out. Miss Caroline said she's the same with you on the leaves. <laughs> we We're, let's take her name back, back home from lunch, from our our car picnic. Uh, we were talking about, oh, we better hurry and get you in the house quick. All the neighbors going to be coming. <laughs> 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 so these we probably need to go back once we get these in place and cut the buds off that don't look just real spiffy. Miss Joanne said, and just like that, his centerpiece is done. My centerpiece is done. He's so fast. I'm only gonna need one of these blocks this year for Thanksgiving, unfortunately. We're not gonna do. You know, I think a lot of people are like that. Too much, yeah. I'd rather be around for a couple more Thanksgivings, hopefully, so. So anyway, you can take one single, or you can take a double, or you can actually, if you have a really long table, and you're going to do social distance on your table for Thanksgiving, you just keep making them and adding them all the way down. Do you not remove the um, lilies? Hey, yeah, we do. Let me do that real quick. You know, the great thing about these, this, this kind of pollen doesn't really stain near like the Stargazer or the Oriental does. I guess it has less oil in it or something. So even if it does stain something, nine times out of 10, it's gonna knock itself off because I guess it dries really fast or it just doesn't have the oil content that the other ones have. So someone asked how they could access Wedding Wednesday. Um, isn't it on? It's on Instagram it's and on then it's Instagram. also on Pinterest. It's on Pinterest and it, it posts on your it Facebook story. Post on the Facebook story, but then it'll direct you to Instagram to watch right. it. But right. I think you can watch it without having an Instagram. Right. Cold and windy in Virginia, but the centerpieces are great. Lots of people are loving the arrangements. Oh, good. Just something really simple and sweet down the table. If you want to have the color go more, let me show you something we could have done. We could have actually taken these lilies and taken them down a little bit lower. For those that want to see across, let's do that. And that way, when we photograph these, it'll look like there's more visually there. You know, height and airiness sometimes is hard to photograph because in photography with flowers, you actually lose your third dimension. So everything really becomes almost flat. So we always have to make sure we look through the lens that we've got good placement. And the tighter the flowers, the more compact they're gonna, the more they're gonna look. Like there's something there, not all these holes. So, let me take that one down. Simple, easy, just a couple stems of flowers. And you know what today is at Tipton and Hearst? Buy one, get one free all day long. That's right. So we have a few people asking, do we have a date for the next Comet Sold? We are working on it. We're trying to shoot for around the third. Uh, we can't do it next week because it'll be Valentine's, it's not Valentine's, Valentine's Day, ooh. Scary. It'll <laughs> it's gonna be Thanksgiving. So we figure we don't, A, we don't wanna be here on Thanksgiving, and B, I'm assuming everybody will have something better to do than watch us on Comments Sold. So it'll probably be like that next, it'll be that next week for sure, 
because we want to be able to get the product in, get it shipped to you, so you have it in time. Which I think they told me today they're down to like six things. I'm waiting on some soup to come in for those that order the tortilla soup. That's been the hold up. We, we it got sold, back ordered. It got back ordered and we didn't realize it. So I think we did pretty good on making sure we had the product. Definitely. Mm-hmm. See, we learn every time we do it. We learn and they weren't like new. huge yeah. items, so it was much easier to box. To and box and get ready to ship. Get ready to ship. Hope we won't have any breakage because I think we're starting to get the hang of it. I think so. Hopefully. So Miss Hope asks, are you taking the centers out because they smell or why? Um, they stain. The, the pollen will drop off, especially on a tablecloth. It won't stain it permanently like pollen from an oriental or a, a stargazer lily more or less, but it will stain. So Miss Gigi said she got her angel today and she is gorgeous. She oh. got one of your Chris Norwa collection angels oh really mm -hmm. well congrats hey we just found some more oh good we had just talked about that yesterday but i mean we really found some that have never been opened oh we ever. really oh well i oh, bet in the warehouse we have a few boxes <laughs> a few hundred boxes of them well great Jerry <laughs> opened the box i'm like are you kidding me these have been hit in the warehouse for eight years so they're almost antique that's exactly right <laughs> we could find some gems there i'm telling you yeah oh my goodness gracious so we're gonna we use oh, hang on we're gonna use protea, pink cushion protea. We're gonna use a little bit of grevillea, some C. eucalyptus, some pyrofolia. I finally have got that name down. Some broom <laughs> corn. <laughs> I probably pressed that wrong in a minute. Some kale, a few sunflowers. A few carnations and orange. I think we need a few more flowers to go in this. I need more room. Oh, Lordy. More room, more room. Of course, we're going to fill them with a little bit of the lotus pods. I'm going to put those over there. Oh, I found this cool Ilex berry, which is still oh, kind of peachy cool. color. Peachy color. You know what changes the color on those is the colder it gets, the, the deeper the red. So they must have cut this really early. I thought it's kind of fun, though. Oh, oh, a couple hydrangeas in the vintage or antique. And then we got a few gourds. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick these gourds. So we can go ahead and put these in. I'm just gonna do one of those. Maybe just a couple of these, especially to add texture, okay? Let me get that out of the way. That'll make a little bit more room, right? A and little I bit. think I will put this on the turntable that is still covered in glitter. Well, I think everything for the next few months is glitter. <laughs> Especially me. It's like last night at uh, dinner, my mom looked at me and she's like, you have a line of glitter <laughs> in your hair. I was like, yeah, that's about right. I mean, ugh, and, I, and I think I'm alert. I itch when I have it on me. So I cannot wait to get home and take a quick shower. Okay. Oops. Hang on one second. I need my cutters. There we go. Sorry about that. So I'm going to go ahead and make our line first with our a little bit of our wheat. I'm going to crisscross that here with this to there. Okay. I think I'm just going to do. I think I'm just going to keep it this way this time. How's that? Just amazing. Yeah. Uh huh. Fabulous. Fabulous. What'd you lose now? Nothing. Just misplaced it. Ha! <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's my new term. It's not lost. It's just misplaced. Is everybody there? It's not showing that anyone's commenting. I'm seeing that lots of people are watching. Oh, there. I'm getting comments now. Uh, they're bored. So let's go back and add. We'll start blocking in our, our larger focal flowers, which will be our kale. Is kale a year-round flower, or when is it used uh, the most? It's, you know, it's kind of pretty much all the time. It's just not as plentiful sometimes. It used to only be like right now, because that's when kale people are growing. You know, this is kind of a wintery, winter crop. But since kale is kind of the it 
vegetable now. Yeah, I would know all about that. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. anyway. So that's why I think you're seeing a lot more of it because people just grow more of it. Hang on, give me my picks. Which ones? That's okay, I can figure it out. Improvise. Improvise. Everyone it's said they're here, they're never bored, they're just mesmerized watching you. Absolutely. Always gotta improvise, right? That's right. Go with the flow. So on these, I am inserting a pick. Into How is Mr. Chris's grandbabies doing? My grandbabies Tell are them about good. The video. Are good. They're yeah. They're they're good. I, unfortunately, Papa still hadn't really got to see them. Not gonna see them for a little, little bit. Unfortunately, we. My daughter lives in Northwest Arkansas, where it's really bad with COVID. So we are we have chosen not to visit for Thanksgiving. We're just gonna. I guess we're gonna do what we've been doing and just do our FaceTime, right? But tell them how cute that video of the twins was. Oh, it was. Of course, I didn't did I tell you the whole story, didn't I? Well, you said that because The whole story was our twins, my daughter posted a video of our twins and Landon was crying on the floor and Jackson went over and patted him and laid beside him and rubbed his back and tried to get him to stand up and, you know, being real sweet. What well, turns out he's the reason why he was crying is because Land Jackson pounded him one or something. So I don't know if Jackson was trying to be sweet just to be sweet or he was trying to be sweet so he wouldn't be in trouble. Maybe so. <laughs> but it was the cutest video. He was like down by him on the ground. Talking he was like patting him. his back and then turned in front of him like, hey bud, you okay? Yeah. It was just yeah. so cute. Hey bud, you okay? Because I just hit you. Uh huh. So anyway, what about the others? Oh, uh, the Henry others. And are, Ollie. Henry and Ollie. They Oliver want the update on Henry. Henry. Henry's doing well. He's getting through school. He's working on. He's constantly working on his Christmas list. Oh yeah. What does he want? What do you ask Santa for? What does he not want? Well, that's so, probably true. That's <laughs> a typical five-year-old, right? Um, I'm not really sure. I think whatever it is, his grandmother's already got it for him. So. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm sure Janae has already got it. I think there's not too much too much that the child has not been taken care of. So someone asked, they know that we're in Arkansas, but which store are we located in? We are at, typically we're always at the Heights store, which is on in um, off of University on North Grant. And that is up in the, what's called the Heights, if you're not familiar with Little Rock. And so this is, this is where we stays pretty much. Although we travel around checking on other stores from time to time. But right now we are buried in the trenches. Miss Kathy said, first you smack them, then you love them. Then you love them, exactly. I think that's what <laughs> think Jackson that's what, was doing. I think that's what happened. How old are the twins? They will be two in March. And of course, Oliver's so cute. The only word he knows right now is ball. But everything's ball, 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 ball. So, so which is he playing with a lot of balls right now? Mm -hmm. Football. Oh yeah, he loves everything. Now Henry does baseball, right? Henry does baseball. Henry does some soccer. Oh, soccer, not my thing. Not Too your much thing. Running up and down. Wasn't my daughter's thing either. She lasted, I think, one season. Someone hit her in the face with a ball, and she was done with it. So. Miss Marilyn said that they're having Thanksgiving breakfast in their PJs. Spinach, oh, quiche, pumpkin, French bread, bacon, sausage, etc. Well, oh, that sounds cool. good. What, what time? Sounds good to me. Miss Linda said she's wondering if we can see her post. Well, I just saw that post, but that's the only one. So someone asked, are these real flowers? These are all real flowers. They so Miss Barbara asked, will we be able to share any photos of the houses that we're decorating? Uh, Probably not. We can ask our customers. Most of our customers are pretty private and we don't even go there. But I know that some people do post things. It's just our clientele, a lot of them are just very um, private. And we always try to do what the customer wants, of course. And we don't post stuff. It's kind of like wedding work. We don't 
post a lot of our weddings because most of our customers are pretty private about it. Ain't that right? That's right. So now I'm going to go back and block a little bit more orange in here. To make so how do you keep the sunflower's head straight up? Um, with it being a smaller um, cut on the stem, you're probably going to use a lot of tension to hold it in there. Meaning the tension of when you put it on top of the other flowers, that's going to keep a lot of it standing up for you. Miss Helena just said, I'm wondering the same thing. Can you see my text? I see that message. What was it? Well, I, I, you know, we were talking the other day. We don't see everyone yeah, that comments. We don't. we don't see all of their messages. Yeah. And even if we go back and it'll say like we have, you know, 780 comments, comments. we, never we get cannot back to see all of them. Yeah. And it's a little disheartening because sometimes I'm trying to make sure I've commented to everybody. And I don't want people to think that we're ignoring Not, them. Right. Like last night, I went back and started looking at stuff from the day before. And it only takes me back to about maybe 500 comments. Yeah. Have you ever put a candle in small pumpkins as an accent? Yep. Or a votive, like a, use it like a votive. Sure you can. Miss Ann said that she loves the sunflowers. It gives it a pop of color. Oh, good. And I'm gonna counteract the length of this by putting this pervilia over here. Like Miss Ann Marie said she's really happy that we went earlier today. Monday was very late for some of them. Oh, uh, now when we saw that people from Zimbabwe were like midnight in bed, I'm like, oh my gosh. Miss Alice said we are welcome to come decorate her front porch in Alabama and photograph <laughs> take it Take a for picture. All. <laughs> I think that was going to come up. Well, you can come take a picture of mine. Okay. So, anyway. See, Miss Sandy just said, guess I'm one that you don't see. Uh, it's so weird no, it's what so I weird. see and we what don't, I don't see. It doesn't pick them up as far as... See, Miss Dolores just said, can you change your settings to see all? So it gives us three we ways. Did. We can see all, see most recent. And most relative. And r most relative. And I always go to all. All, yeah. All, all three. All. And, and like my mom sent me a screenshot of a message two or three days ago, and like that message is nowhere on my stuff, so... Yeah. Never know. See, someone just said, did you see that we wanted to see the angel that y'all were talking about? I never saw Miss Stella's comment about that. Which angel was that? Uh, the Chris Norwood angel. Oh. That oh. Miss Gigi got. Oh, my gosh. We can show y'all a picture. Yeah, we can show you a picture. You know, I'm pr pretty sure if it's all over with, we're probably going to do another walkthrough anyway. Probably so. Miss Brenda said the store in the Heights is Wonderland, prettiest place you will ever see this season. Oh, she said so she was sweet. here last week. Oh, that's so kind. Mr. Mike said very elegant and simple at the same time. Yeah, we're just trying to do something, just a table centerpiece, low and long. Not a lot of flowers, trying to keep the cost down. And something that people would want to purchase and put on their table. Miss Martha said, thank you for going back to fall decorations. These are beautiful. Well, we've only got a week. one more week left, and then it's over with. Then we go with full hilt Christmas. Glitterama. So anyway, I think we're in pretty good shape. What do you think? I like it. Good. I do. I'm with Miss Ann. The sunflowers are really pretty. Oh, good. Well, we tried to keep it where it was. Kind of traditional flowers with a little bit of extra texture. So you can take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and voila, there you have it. Anyway, I hope y'all had fun today. We've had fun. Uh, you know, we love doing our happies. We love our happy family. We love when y'all comment and ask us questions too. So if you have any questions, let us know. If you need something done for you, we'll take care of that as well. Uh, we will see you Friday. Is that right? That's right, at Cash. Maybe. Maybe, we can do it. Maybe. We won't. We could probably do maybe one of the things. One of the bays, maybe. Because mm -hmm. we've got seven to do. So, anyway, we're, we are deep in Christmas as well as deep in the fall. Right, right now, it's probably our busiest time of the year because we've got all these different holidays going on. But we're so glad you spent some time with us today, though. All right. Well, we'll see you Friday. Thanks for watching. Bye.